Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I want to talk about Remote Desktop. Remote Desktop allows you to use your Wi-Fi signal and connect to your telescope remotely so uh, you can be in the comfort of your warm house and you're not outside maybe in, in the cold winter or you're outside freezing. And you can do this with uh, your laptop and another desktop PC or Mac that you might have. Uh, what I wanted to also cover is two free solutions. There's TeamViewer and MSTSC, Microsoft Terminal Service Client. Now the TeamViewer requires internet access and MSTSC doesn't require internet access but you will need Wi-Fi. So that might be good for you if you're in a remote location and you need to access your telescope setup outside you don't need internet access but if you have a little Wi-Fi router then you can control your telescope remotely. One of the easiest options is TeamViewer but TeamViewer requires internet access to uh, access all of your remote desktops which may not be a problem if you're doing this from home and you have internet access. Go to TeamViewer.com uh, download the, uh, the, the app and then once you install the app it will then show you a, a menu of all of your computers that you have to set up and when you set them up you'll uh, set them up with uh, remote control IDs and passwords so you can connect to the computer remotely and then what you do is you just double click on the uh, PC you like to uh, connect to and then it will automatically connect and allow you to start using the uh, remote desktop. Microsoft Terminal Service Client is an easy program to install although it does require you to have a Microsoft uh, PC. Uh, the first thing you'll do is you'll go to your computer and right click on your computer and go to the properties here and when you get to the properties here you'll want to go to remote settings and click on remote settings and then what you want to do is you want to allow connections from computers running any version that would be the best way to do it just say okay and then once you do that then you have to go into your uh, control panel and when you get to the control panel find your user accounts and go into your user accounts and you have to make sure that there's a a password for uh, that account so you just create a password the IP address of the computer you just told to allow remote access to in most cases this would be your laptop that's outside with your telescope uh, type CMD press enter little black box will pop open type IP config press enter and then it'll show you the IP address of the computer that you're on and in this case it's 192.168.1.19 write down that information the computer that would be inside the house you would click on the uh, start button type uh, MSTSC and press enter that will bring up the remote desktop connection and you'll type in the IP address and then you'll uh, press connect it will ask you for a uh, a name of the account and the name on the account on that the laptop I was just looking at was was Doug and the password that you put in would be the password that uh, you you put in on the setup and we'll try clicking connect and it's gonna ask me uh, do you want to trust this and yes I'll just say yes and just tell it not to bother you again and, and that way it won't get that prompt anymore and then what it will do is it will uh, bring up the desktop remotely and then you can control uh, the computer. I hope you found this useful for accessing your telescope setup remotely from your home. Also if you have an idea or a better suggestion for remote access to your desktop I would love to hear about it. If this is your first time watching I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.